Um, Russ, quick updates on the GX. Yes. Last show, we did determine you are going to keep it. Yes. Now that the Lexus has been uh, confirmed to stay, there will be some upgrades along the way. Won't say much else, um, but <laughs> some things are coming and uh, and some things might be in the works. So, Have you been kicking the uh, running boards to dent them more so your spouse was not like looking at them so you can replace them? <laughs> The right one, so <laughs> so the, the right running board. I I crunched really hard on a rock up in uh, in Massachusetts. Like the truck came down, and I thought I had enough clearance, and it just sat on it and just pinched it up. Is and that I why thought, you never take photos of the right side? Well, also it takes more time to walk around to the right side. Okay. And when time is limited, <laughs> uh, no. I also just like driver side pictures because nine times it- out of ten, that's the side of the vehicle you go to. Right. So. I'm just, um, yeah. I'm sorry. You said you crunched the right side. I'm just not realizing I've never seen the passenger side of this truck. <laughs> oh, there's definitely some out there, but, uh, yeah, the right, the right side running board is, is fairly crunched and I massaged it back into place the best that I could. And it took for a few days and has since gone back to its crunched form. So, uh, yeah, that's, uh, that, that's, some, that's one of the things that, that we'll, uh, we'll have a conversation about in the future, but yeah, I found it. That's, that's my whole. I found the right side on the on the truck. <laughs> the right that side picture, of it does exist. So that picture is about a month before the running board got crunched. Okay. Yeah, and you I think it was all rocks. a little smushed. <laughs> but <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Truck's good. I've been driving it a bunch, um, and yeah, I have nothing else to report. Oh, I know what I can talk about. I'm dumb. Sorry. I didn't even update the notes with my correct update. So part of my update is we have a potential trip in the spring. Um, It is out west. The GX is too far away because it's like six days total just to drive it out there and drive it back. But then the trip wedged between that. Um, and so while Ross would enjoy that much time in the Lexus, uh, his, Ross's back would not enjoy that much time in the Lexus I think and or jobs. Would, yeah, my job and my baby would probably be a little <laughs> underwhelmed with that you much You think time. your back would be okay? I think, the, uh, yes, the Lexus is actually pretty comfy. And that's okay. like saying sky blue, you know? Right. Um, but it's, I don't know, I haven't done, I think I did seven hours of it once and it was pretty fine. So seven hours is not three days. What's, I'm point what's out. another twenty six? <laughs> <laughs> right? Yeah, so, it's uh, it's let's for the record, it is. Oh come on, internet! I was trying to get a Google Maps going. It is twenty one uh, twenty one thousand twenty one seventy door to door from me to Moab. Okay, how many, how many hours? Um, I don't know. It suggested a flight at first, so oh, yeah. I kind of yeah. just clicked away. That's my favorite. I'm always like, thanks yeah. a <clears> lot, <throat> Max. Like, I uh, don't need 33 f- hours. 33? Yeah. Okay. That's not that's not too bad for Black Elk, honestly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Road Warrior stuff. We'll, we'll, we'll get into yeah. that very shortly. Yeah, yeah. right. So yeah. with this potential trip, though, where we were then like, all right, what the Suburban is the only other thing that really kind of makes sense um, as that it's it's a little higher. But one of the stipulations on this potential trip is it's in Utah. So obviously there's going to be rocks involved, but they the term rock crawling was used even, um, which gave me some hesitance because the Suburban is unarmored. Um, we lack metal protection underneath. Um, so oh I got underneath to like, actually, what I was like, how bad? Is it underneath? Like, because we always talk about the Nissan Frontier, right? The Frontier, the frame is the lowest thing that comes down, and all the soft bits are above it. Mm-hmm. So, like, if for the audio listener, I've, I've got a picture of the undercarriage of the Suburban up the left side of the image. This is the plastic uh, skid plate that hangs down from the front and kind of curls underneath the oil pan. Uh, so we would have to replace that. Um, and then this stretch here, obviously exhaust moving through, and I think this is transmission. Uh, yeah, it looks like the trans- transmission band. cooling yeah. lines. So we would want to span that as well. Hmm. Um, and then the only other spot where it looks to be any kind of vulnerable underneath would then be the fuel tank on the driver's side. Which um, is level with the frame or even? It's pretty close to level with the frame. So Eek. 
it seems possible with a with some strategically placed yeah. metal to get close enough. <clears throat> what has hampered me in this thought process is then um, that front air dam is still really low. I'm just gonna have to cut all of that off on the front. Air and then dam, I was, air saw. There you go. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Uh, let me introduce you to my grinder. Um, huh? Actually, that's yeah, the, I don't know if you grinder. Say that. Angle grinder, Ross. Angle grinder. <laughs> Calm down. Actually, here I got a I got a side on shot that'll yeah. help us with this. Been watching Perfect. too much letter getting. Yes, you have. Um, okay, so again for the audio listener, I apologize, and I say audio listener, which is redundant. Um, basically, Ooh. you can come in on the front bumper and go right at the edge of that black line there by yourself three inches. You could do some reinforce. It has some like plastic reinforcement underneath, but you could do mm. some metal <clears> reinforcement <throat> behind it that would then protect that lower lip. Um, and pretty much there's nothing else that's really hanging low there. Um, obviously running boards, we would want to replace with some kind of slider. And then you could actually come back to the bumper here and just trim mm -hmm. this kink off. And then, uh, the black shadow here is actually the spare, which I would either put in or out. up. Yeah. yeah. Um, in. you have enough space. And then, it goes in. Huh? You have enough space in there. It goes in. It, exactly. Well, I, was, I remember sleeping arrangements, so maybe I'm sleeping inside. So maybe it goes Fair. to the top. Okay. Um, and I'm tall, so I need all the space I can get in this room. <laughs> um, and then, uh, obviously, then at the back, you know, the only thing you have to worry about is the exhaust pipe. And if you ding the exhaust pipe, that's easily replaceable. Like, mm -hmm. just cut some tubes. So all of that is uh, kind of a thought process. Um, and I did I did take the Suburban out again. I went out with the kids um, and just had another trip. Uh, with them, we we did it a little different this time. We kind of went back to the same location um, where, uh, but I let my oldest drive a lot this time. Um, I let him uh, do some some uh, some steering on. First of all, I put him on the interstate for the first time, which was hilarious oh, because I I did it in the spot where the speed limit seventy five. So he's driven the fastest he's ever driven now. Um, oh, and, yeah, and talking through. <laughs> small adjustments mm -hmm. um and then there was actually uh actually have a video clip because he's he's been doing this thing that's been driving me nuts in traffic um i'm waiting for it to load and so he doesn't realize he's doing this but he's consistently pulling to the right like the truck is aligned mm -hmm. it does mm -hmm. not but if you look in this video how he started with both wheels centered on the wood and now towards the end of it We've kind of leaned to the right mm -hmm. a little bit. So I've actually, it was great because I was able to use this video with him to be like, see? And he was like, got it. Oh. And so mm -hmm. he's gotten a little better since then. Um, I did let him I did let him drive in, uh, on the gravel quite a bit. I let him drive through um, a couple of <clears throat> Fords with some water. Uh, and then I did. Yeah. Oh. yeah. <laughs> well, it's, a, it's a creek. Yeah, this is six inches. Throw through a Ranger. Yeah, I was thinking yeah. Of excursions yeah. expeditions. It was an actual creek. Come on, I got artsy <clears> with my photos, guys. Come on. Yeah. I got a oh no, I have a cough coming. Where's my beautiful? Oh, it's gorgeous. How it's much cold. Cold. how much does that thing weigh? Do you know? Uh I think it's like 56, 58. Okay. I was just it's, curious. It's between like 56 and 59. I know you live in the 9,000 pound world, so. Yeah. <laughs> no, I've always wondered how much they weigh, so. Yeah, no, yeah. it's not as bad as we think it is. I think it's like 53 like 58. to 59. Yeah. Um, or we'll drive from your 58. Yeah. Uh, and so the leveling kit didn't add much weight, but if we start slapping metal on the bottom of it, um, this should have been a picture I used. You can see the clearance better. Um, <laughs> so yeah, I, I took the kids back out. The hilarious part of that is after that trip, what day was that? I think we did that on a, I think we did that on a Saturday and Sunday morning. Um, my my youngest two, who are eight and four and a half, got up and we're like, "Where are we going? We're going again, right? What are we doing today?" <laughs> like it's we're not doing anything today. I just spent so many hours with you guys in the car yesterday. It was great. You got all got tired, like, and we did meet a. Uh, I did meet some friends out, and so I think I have photos of uh the ross you saw the 100 series and yes um and spencer's f-150 which is mm -hmm. it's just a truck so they they actually went and camped saturday night and it was like 25 and a pretty decent north wind 
um, which was kind of wicked there. And so I had a, my 11 year old had a basketball game Saturday. So we had to leave from this drive all the way back, get him changed in time to go to basketball. So, um, oh, is that, is that a giant rock there? It is. I'm looking at? Okay. It's, it's called teeter rock and I can drop you a pin later. If you guys want to go take a drone out and make beautiful, beautiful shot. Cause yes, it's interesting it, looking. Yeah. For Southeast Kansas, <clears throat> it's kind of like the only landmark down there and it's <laughs> yeah. it's man-made like it's definitely like farm erected like yeah like it looks like sculpture that's what yeah. i thought it was at first it's there are like conflicting stories on what it represents like some guy supposedly died in a snowstorm and so they erected this rock so he would then know if it was close to the farm and other people are like that's horseshit somebody just decided to put it up <laughs> and that's what it like there, there, are, there are ruins like you drive through the ruins of the the Teeterville town, okay. which was like a collection of mining buildings. Uh, Southeast Kansas is, actually has more mining than people give it credit for because you can go from here to Big Brutus, which Ross, do you remember that massive crane? I do. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah, that big orange crane that's in Southeast. And then those, but that's more from like, I don't know if strip mining is the right term or not, but like you can literally see <clears throat> lakes cut in like canal shapes down there from all the the mining they did so so. the rock definitely wasn't from some mining company that just wanted to dump it somewhere definitely not no chance it it, is definitely like a guy who set it up but what yeah the farmer yeah that that one gets me (laughs) Um, i gotta tickle my throat again Uh oh speaking of uh haunting dreams that guy will be in your nightmares tonight Exactly, yeah. like his soul's trying to invade me right now. Get out of here, dude. House spirits everywhere. Oh, yeah. God. What a weird... <laughs> Thanks, Ross. Here. Yep, you're welcome. 